My name is El Gore, and I'm a technologicolic. <laughs> yesterday. And I did. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Whether or not you're interested, I picked it up. It was the highlight of my day. So I'm not going to put her on because I have my updo today and it's a hat that needs to have your hair down. But here she is. She, uh, I picked her up from a place called The Hat Shop, uh, which is down on Thompson Street, um, just maybe a block or two north of Spring. It's a really cute little shop. The lady in there uh, is definitely a hat enthusiast. And the hat itself is um, made by a company called Egg Cup Designs. And uh, they even put a fun little lining on the inside, which I was asked if I had picked that. And I did not, but had I, I don't know that I could have picked better. I like the little kitty cats with the bows. So that was really, uh, really fun to, to go down and pick up my birthday hat and, um, and spend the afternoon in Soho because it was kind of nice outside yesterday. So it's funny how people react to you. I mean, partially because I look like I'm in a, a costume of some sort, but to see how people react to you when you're, I guess, just not only not on your phone, not that that's why they're uh, reacting to you, but enjoying yourself, interacting with people. It's funny, people really, for some reason, <clears throat> uh, verbally respond to that, which is kind of strange. You know, it's funny, the people have, uh, the people that I have uh, told about that I'm doing this, the first thing that a lot of them want to do is tell me about all the things I'm doing wrong. Like, I had a friend who gave me a call, who's a doll, I love her. She has fabulous hat she wore the other day, uh, this fur hat, it's fantastic. Um, but uh, she called me, I had called and left her a message, and she called me back, and she said, you know, in the 1950s you would not be able to leave a voicemail. Which, yes, is true. I mean, I figure that, that, you know, they could have left a note with the doorman or called the doorman. Not that I have a doorman. But called the doorman and left a message of some sort to say, call Miss so-and-so. Oh, by the way, my little tag has a thing. Has my <laughs> missus name on it, which is, feels very fabulous to me. Um... So everybody has been telling me, not everybody, but a lot of people that I've told, they either A, think that I'm totally insane, and I think, you know, this is how people become quirky old ladies. Things like this. Not that I wouldn't have been a quirky old lady anyway, but um, they think I'm completely insane. Two, they think it's fantastic, but want to tell me all the rules I'm breaking. Or three, think it's incredible and wish they or express that they wish they could do it themselves. And that is the most interesting part to me because I would say all the time, I am totally addicted to my phone, I'm totally addicted to my calendar, addicted to text, addicted to email, addicted to Facebook. Use that word a lot, right? I'm addicted to technology, for real. And uh, it's one thing to say that, and it's another thing to try to quit. And I don't know that it isn't an addiction, that it isn't any that it is any different than any other compulsion that people have, and that it's, I think, possibly quite bad for you, which is scary because people acknowledge it, refer to it all the time as an addiction, but I, I just don't know that it's very healthy for us, and I think until people step away from it or acknowledge that, I, I don't know that it's going to get any different or any better, but it's definitely worth something worth uh, thinking about and being a little concerned about. I know, what a concern to have, right? Too much technology. And 
let's see what else is there. I, uh, I made the sweater clips. Actually, I'm wearing my sweater clips right now. I did do the tutorial. It was well beyond my hour a lot of time when I was trying to edit it. So that'll be for a different day. And I don't even think it'll be in an episode. I think it'll actually be just its own separate like DIY thing. And along those lines, the next DIY thing that um, I think I want to do is I need a market bag. I have several not very pretty canvas bags, which are wonderful. I don't, I try not to use plastic as much as possible. But they're not very fun. And so I kind of thought that it would be fantastic to have one of those like woven rope, not really wicker, but you know, the like soft rope bags. And uh, I know that I have all of this. You've probably seen it in some of the other episodes. It's sitting in my window. So this old sheet that I had that I ripped up into just like one inch strips and tied together, I've been making a rag rug out of. But the space that I want to use it for is way too big for how long it's taking me to crochet it. Like a million years. So I was thinking about possibly just pulling it out and making it into a market bag. So I think that might be something that I do for my next tutorial. Uh, but we'll see. I'll just record it. Uh, of course, the tutorial that I'm looking at, the sweater clip tutorial, and it's uh, definitely got some flaws, but that's part of this whole experience as well. Just letting it be whatever it's going to be, which is not something I'm fantastic at. So there's something to be learned in that, I think. What else? Tomorrow is is Easter, so happy holidays, yay. Yesterday was Passover. And I'm going to the Easter Bonnet Parade. Of course, everybody asked me if I'm wearing my hat. I'm not wearing this hat. I'm wearing a hat I, I made for Halloween, um, not last year, but the year before, where I was a butterfly tamer, so it's a top hat-ish. I'll wear it tomorrow, maybe for my episode, uh, and hopefully get a little footage down there as well since hats are definitely part of the time period that I am currently trying to technologically exist in. So I think that would be fun, something to include. Um, I don't know that I have anything else to add, except that, yes, oh, yes, oh, to add to my rules. So, because the rules are always expressed as being broken, not always, do you notice that I tend to speak in extremes? I kind of have noticed that when I'm editing this stuff. Um, totally lost my train of thought. Oh yes, my rules. Here they are. So I think as those rules continue, continue to grow, uh, I'll just keep adding to that list, and then I think I'll have a set boundary, not only for myself, but also to share with other people. Oh, one of the rules, note to self, add to is no nook. I stopped using my nook, uh, my nook book, which I was using a lot, and actually went to Goodwill and picked up this. David Copperfield. You know that this is a very funny book. I don't think anybody knows that. I mean, it's very, you know, beautifully and flowerily written. That's a new word. You can use it if you want. You don't have to give me credit. Um, but it's very clever and funny, which is kind of weird for something written so long ago. So I went directly from finishing Murakami's 1Q84 to David Copperfield by Dickens. That kind of sums up where I'm at. So I think that's everything. This is El Gore for This Past Life. I'll see you another day.